how to use mean if s function in microsoft excel hello everyone welcome to excel 10 tutorial in this function explain video series i'm going to explain the mean if x function in microsoft excel okay i'm going to talk about the parameters and i'm going to talk about when and how you can use it and let's get started <laughs> The best way to learn a function is to apply it and in this tutorial I'm going to apply the mean if s function and while I'm applying it I will explain the details and I hope you will understand it okay all of us know that in mean function we get the minimum value from a data range and in the mean if s function we still get the minimum value from a data range but the difference is that we can filter them based on criteria okay so in mean if s we can add different criteria or multiple criteria and in this scenario I'm going to explain three different criteria okay so let's write the mean f s function here here is it and if I select it in the tooltip you can see it says returns the minimum value among cells specified by a given set of condition or criteria okay so let's select it and before starting I would like to explain what I'm going to accomplish here I'm going to find out the minimum value first one based on product and then I'm going to expand the function and I'm going to add the category to the criteria so then I will find out the minimum price based on two condition category and product and then I will expand the function again and then I'm going to filter it with salesperson category and product okay so if I open parenthesis you can see the first parameter in mean if s function is the minimum range or mean range that means the value from where we are going to find out the minimum range so this is our minimum range and we have selected it and if I press comma it's moved to the next parameter which is criteria range as we can see our first criteria is product let's select the criteria range here so the criteria range means you have a data range where you will have different criteria and whenever you specify any criteria then it will search that inside your data range and if it finds it it will filter the value according to it okay so our criteria range is here and if i press comma it is asking for the criteria and i don't like to write text inside function so i'm going to select this cell where i'm going to write the product name and whenever i write the product name here the minimum sales amount will be displayed here okay so if we close the function and press enter it shows nothing because we haven't select any product here okay so let's say this is our product and if i paste it here so this is the minimum sales price of our product so training app minimum sales price 1500 okay and you can see in this data range there are lower values but it's not showing that it's showing based on this condition okay now let's expand the function we are going to add another criteria here and we are going to add the category as a criteria so right comma and we are moved to the next parameter which is criteria range 2 again select the data range from where you are going to filter the criteria and if I press comma it is asking for the criteria second criteria and again I'm selecting another cell I don't want to write inside functions so whenever I write the category in here it will filter the value okay so if I press enter result is 0 simply select any criteria here and you can see it is filtering data based on this two condition okay now if I change it here if the result is 0 because it will need to match the both criteria so if I change this to this you can see this is the criteria result okay website slider minimum cell value 100 now let's expand the function again comma and select the criteria range 3 our salesperson and again the criteria this is the cell and if I press enter nothing so if I select him so this is the salesperson this salesperson sold website slider website and the minimum sales price is this one so we got the minimum value based on three condition this is the if s function does so mean if s function is for multiple condition and the result will be the minimum result okay or the minimum value okay so this is what i wanted to show you if you can please support the channel through patreon thank you thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial and don't forget to subscribe thank you